What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Joe Body. Can we play some more Borderlands Game of the Year edition? This is, now, remember, this is the first Borderlands. Last episode, we did beat the game. We, we did get to the end. Got the vault key. Beat the destroyer. And I just wanted to finish up a, a few side quests and everything like that. Um, you know, give us something to do. You know, um, so what we got is... Yeah, we have a lot of weapons. There's no way that we could really store them, unfortunately. Got some artifacts. Do I have an explosive weapon? I don't. Well, I do, but. Did I just put that on? Because basically what we can do here. Is that since we got these artifacts, we can add them on. And we do shock, you know, cross or return. That might be nice. No, we do shock. It's shock. Because I like to use shock weapons quite a bit. So. Yeah. So. Let, let's do the trash coast. Earl's best friend. Get this out the way. And we'll move this out the way. All right, let's go. So I do want to see which way we got to go. So we want to go through the trash coast, which we were here before. You know, it, it, it's separating the two areas. And it looks like it's kind of in the harder area. Um. What, what I got on me? We could we could mess around with this a little bit. See how this works. We have some enemies here. Let's check the map just real quick. We could go this way and around. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Take a little while. But yeah, it felt fun beating the game. Ooh, look at that big damage. <laughs> um, This may not be the best weapon for this. I think using this, that's the machine gun. The crossbow may work, but we will put this on. Do I have an SMG that's like kind of dope? I mean, this SMG is dope. It is dope. Let's, let's stick with this one. I'm really good at this. Reason why, I mean, it, it has a zoom on it. I don't like that too much. But um, against these enemies, you know, having explosive damage does some wonders. Because you don't have to worry about... Yeah, because you don't have to worry about um, their shell too much. There we go. Why is he way up here? That's crazy. That's, that's nuts. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we put in that work. Class bot. Nah. All right. So, um, you know, when you beat the game officially, you know, you can do a second playthrough, right? Well, we're not doing that, you know, all for this series, but the second playthrough effectively is you, you stay at the current level that you are, 
and enemies get stronger and you can level up even more and more and i, and I imagine there's a max level that you can upgrade to i imagine it's, it could be level 50 or level 60 somewhere around there but it's good if you want to get back into it you know get some really really nice weapons fight tougher enemies perhaps maybe some newer enemies i don't know but you know for me um that's something i kind of would like to do on multiplayer there we go oh we got one more there we go But it's pretty fun, you know, um, especially when you have all that power, man, like you, you feel like a, almost like a deity a little bit, you know, once you get the special weapons and everything. Oh, Should be one more around here somewhere. It might be more coming out. Where is he at? Oh, he's right here. Right, so I, I guess we gotta take him out. Wait a minute, hold up. Oh, I, I guess we just gotta follow him. He'll go into his hole, come back out. There we go. That's it. Very nice. Now we can head on back. Get out the assault rifle for a little bit. So I'm thinking about the the next game I want to play. You know, and like I said, you know, I, I'm going through just my Steam account playing some old games that I have. I'm not, you know, to be fair, I'm not really looking at playing newer games, even though I'm seeing all these new games coming out and everything. I just kind of want to just stick with what I have. This dude. Yeah, let me get the shotgun out. There we go. There are so many enemies, man. It's crazy. All right. There we go. All right. We're going to head on back. And then we're going to do the last mission. Well, we have to turn this in, though. We have to turn this in. And that's all fine and dandy. You know, one thing I... um This is, this is kind of a side thing, but... So, the software that I use... Not all the time, but I'm using it now. It's called vMix. And it's really, really good. I mean, I, I like it. But I really wish I had a full version because then that way I can do like a whole bunch of different cuts and stuff like that just on the fly. And, and you know what's so cool about it is that you have the ability to set up what's called triggers. So you can have like an intro video and play and you start recording or whatever. Right now, I'm just using it as a video mixer, audio and video mixer, which, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of um, memory or anything like that. So, you know, that's really good. And I record everything onto my Aver Media. It's a live gamer portable two plus. And it just makes me so much easier, you know, just being hit a button, just record and everything set up, ready to go. You know, I, re I really like that. Sometimes I, I do kind of wish I can just record everything on my PC. And that is it.
Ah, oh, you gonna hit me? Don't hit me. But um, are you serious? What? How did I get hit? All right, whatever, man. All right, we're gonna go through here. Talk to Crazy Earl. What you owe? There we go. And then we can start looking for his machine gun body. Or the machine gun. And we'll be good to go. But, you know, to be fair, recording is hard. It's not it's not easy to do, you know, and for me just to kind of start out, it's just like. Mm, you go here to the salt flats, but yeah, I mean. So I try to find a way, you know, ways of making the recording process easier to work with. And like I said, I mean, it's not the easiest thing to do in the world, you know. Is there a vehicle? Okay. This is where he beat General Flynn at. Spawn this, hit the driver's seat. And let's look for these machine gun parts. Now the entrance should be here. Ah, uh, that's going in, going in. So the, let's wipe up all these guys first. go there we go oh, all right check over here see so a couple more over here no they're over here There we go. There are a lot of enemies in this area. You know, and, and that's always been, I, I always feel like that's kind of a downfall this game. Yeah, I don't I don't know where he's at. And I'm not I'm, I'm not about to try to look for him. So, all right. We, we are going to have the music playing playing on us like this, which is fine and dandy. But uh Shoot, let's look around. There we go. Jeez, a lot of enemies, man. I mean, they're not hard to beat. It's just, you know. All right, now. Let's look around. Can we jump up here? Yeah. So to find these machine gun parts, you know, the most of them will be in a similar area 
they're, they're not gonna be too far apart from each other we just gotta find exactly where to start and would it be up top Jump up here. Oh, there we go. That's one. All right. That's the first one. Let's see where the second one is at. Check around here. So I know the first one was right there. The second one is right up on top. All right, now let's see where the third one's at. back up here real quick just to see if we can get a different angle uh not seeing anything over around here oh there you go that's the third one so so yeah we do gotta go a little further out Oh, so there was a chest. I'm not even worried about that now. Can we jump up? Nope. We got to go a little higher. There we go. Come on. All right, that's the third one. I don't think the fourth one will be over here. I'll check over here. I really don't think it'll be this far away though. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's gonna be this far away. Let's go back the other way. And Kind of scavenge around, look around. Hmm, let me check over here. No. Nope. I would imagine they're all are up kind of high. Let me see. Hmm. I don't see anything here yet. I think I'm going a little bit too far away. I really don't think it's over that way. All right, let's look around a little more. Check back here. Nope. Checking here. Nope. 
No. No. There you go. Alright, so let, let me figure out how to get up here. It's up here. So, there has to be like a... Something where we can jump up on. Can we use this table? I don't think I'll be able to make it this high. No. Alright, so let's see if we can jump on here. We Nope. I just slid off. Uh Hmm. Seems like we could jump over here, maybe. There we go. Oh, snap. No. All right. So there has to be another way. Um. Oh, no. Okay. We, we can jump up here. I don't think we are able to get up like this. Nope. Ah. Uh. How do we get up there? Unless there's a way to jump down to it. There has to be a way to like. Hmm. You know. How do we get up there? I feel I feel like this this would be a decent way to do it. Oh here we go. I was trying to go too high. There we go. Alright. Got that out the way. And with that said, let's head back to the um the spot. Nope, let's go. Got the jet, bro. All right. Now I'm I'm not even sure where this um was at. Let me see. Middle of nowhere. Okay. So this was the middle of nowhere bulletin board. Turn that in. I mean, it's decent. Fire rate is kind of nice. All right. And it looks like this is all the missions. We haven't killed enough human enemies. Your Kung Fu is beast. <laughs> I never really used uh, hand to hand combat. All right. That's very cool. Now, I'm not sure if there will be any other spots we can go.
Yeah, I'm not sure there's any places we can go now. Mm. Let's go back to Firestone. Just kind of look around a little bit. Now, unfortunately, we still can't open these chests. We don't have these keys. I wonder how we get those keys. You know, um, I'm actually, I'm actually wondering. But I think what I want to do, actually, let me check this out. Fire, lightning, and poison, man. That joke is fire, dog. So, I guess we can just go through our backpack, figure out which ones are nice. We will lock this. We will lock this one. This one is actually pretty decent. You know, shock damage. This one is nice. We'll trash this one. This repeater is, is actually kind of nice, though. Lots of damage on the repeater. Um, maybe, you know, I didn't really use fire uh, rocket launchers like that. So I, I, I am going to um dump that. Do, do we, well, we have we have a sniper rifle. That's kind of dope. We'll junk that. Now, this one's nice. We'll lock that. And this one, I'm not sure I want to keep it. I'm. And yeah, we'll keep that. We'll keep that. This is a nice pistol. We'll keep that because of shock damage. This repeater will be nice. But I don't really need that. We're going to drink this one. Oh, hmm. We'll trash it. I mean, I, I don't I don't see us really using it like that. We're going to trash this one. We'll trash this. We're keeping this one. This one is nice because it's infinite ammo. Um, We're going to junk that. This was really this was a really good SMG. I really did like this one. I think I'll keep it. We don't need that one. We don't need that either. Don't need that. This machine gun is nice. This Atlas is nice. Definitely gonna keep that one. Um, this Jacobs. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's big damage. Big damage. We'll keep it. Now these, you know, I don't like these weapons. I don't like these at all. We, we are going to junk these. You know, it uses energy. But it's there. The fire rate is just not. It's, it's just not there. We will get rid of this repeater. We will get rid of this. We got these class mods. We don't I mean I can use them. The ignite damage would be nice. I'll get rid of one of them for the SMG damage. And then we have the grenade damage. What, what do we have here? Sticky grenades. Yeah, we'll keep it. Junk. Junk. Junk that. All right. And then we go here. We're going to sell all of our junk. That way we get all that out of our inventory. Is there anything else here? Thanks to you, no more bandits. Yeah, well, it is what it is. So, I'm not sure what else we can really do. You know, at least in in, in a playthrough. You know, um. 
go to New Haven. And let's just see, maybe there's some bulletin boards around that we may have missed. Yeah, so, so let's check. I just don't know how to get these keys. See that? I'm not sure about. Yeah, nothing here. Yeah, there's not, nothing there. Is something in here? I hope you're avoiding the negative element around here. Will the Crimson Lance stop at nothing to get at the vault? They are killing the very people they should be protecting. Yeah, no more missions. See you soon. Yeah, well, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Um, we basically kind of did what we needed to do. And everything's going to work itself out. It's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Um, I'm just trying to think what else. We got so many weapons, man. You know, there are times where. This is see this is level 36. This is this is so nice. But um you know what we can do? Let's, let's put this right here. This is gonna be a lot of damage. We'll try it actually. And if there's something else that we can figure out that we can do, then we'll go ahead and do it. But you know, and just kind of mess around a little bit. So what I'm thinking though is i'm going to you know we play some other games eventually we will get to borderlands 2 and 3 uh because i do have them i did beat them before but i do want to do let's play them There we go. Man, yeah, like now this revolver is so nice, bro. This one is nice. I I like this. I like this quite a bit. I'm just wondering if there's other secret areas we can go to. There we go. Ouch. Reload. There we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what I got on, on the docket that I want to do? Well, I have some card battlers I want to play. Um, there, There's a lot more shooters I can play, too, now. You know... A lot of 2D platformers that I've been wanting to play. I've been playing Splunky 2. You know, I've been doing a series of that. That series is a little different than what I've been doing for Borderlands. But what I would say, you know, um, in terms of this game in total, I'm just kind of talking randomly because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> but, you know, this was one of my favorite games. You know, when this game came out back in, what, 2009, 2010, something like that, um, it was my first time ever playing a, like a looter shooter type game. And it was pretty nice because I was just like, oh, man, we can get all these cool weapons, you know. And it was something that you could sit down with your friends and play and just have a great adventure. You know, such a such a great game. You know, I, I feel like this was such a great game. You know, and just the desolation of the, of the environment, you know, gives you that that different world you know almost like um um stalker shadows of chernobyl if you ever played that shooter game is more of an adventure you know holo not only holocaust but um nuclear fallout type of shooter uh fallout you know three fallout four you know very similar like that um maybe rage and you have played rage and rage 2 that and rage 2 came out recently by the way, you know, all these all those shooters are very similar. 
you know but it's just a different ways and different mechanics of how they play you know um but really enjoyed this game you know uh to me if, if you're looking at trying to get the rest of the stuff in fact because that's what we are going to do you know and, and then we kind of show just a little bit so what we're going to do we're going to exit we say the content don't turn off the computer of course so we start game we have a select playthrough so we have a second playthrough we can go through and we'll, we'll do it we'll do it just real quick just to show y'all the kind of the new game plus mode of this game and you can just run through it again See you next time. <laughs> welcome to firestone i am cl4ptp you may call me by my locally designated name claptrap before continuing please accept this echo communication device and heads up display provided free of charge by the doll corporation there we go boot sequence initiated great i detected your echo device is fully functioning this way please all right so basically as you see you know we start a new game you basically keep all your stats the weapons that you brought with you you keep that as well all the upgrades that you have and you just basically continue on playing and, and getting stronger and stronger let me um, switch some of this out real quick um i would like to use this other smg there's an the smg that i had that's really really dope which one was it this one hits very hard and we'll keep the chimera because it does a lot of different elemental damage do i have um anything else that does uh, corrosive damage or explosive damage nah we keep what we got step right up this is the new U station when you use this device your dna profile is automatically identified and stored please activate the new U station now all right. Yeah, a little bit more stuff. But, you know. Keep that on. I don't know why that her shirt and hair color has to be the same color. Like that's that's kind of strange. And uh, let me do red. Yeah. So we can reset the skill points as well. And we are able to, you know, do what you got to do. I'm not going to reset them. Excellent. Now that your DNA is registered, you have the best in horrific death and dismemberment insurance. Should an unfortunate fatal incident occur, your new you will appear at the nearest station. Mm-hmm. all right yeah so and i do want to get into some fighting just to show y'all you know the level increases and everything go over here real quick nah okay you want to check something out yes. oh. all right so now you see the enemies at level 32 
and we put in some work on them. Oh, snap. Yes, sir. Let me open this up and see what we got. Ooh, look at this. Now, now we're getting some big weapons now. You know, so obviously you start playing some more. You're going to get some really nice weapons. Highly effective versus shields. Should I pick this up? I mean, I mean, they're, they're still kind of standard, though. These controls seem to be damaged. Have no fear. I'm sure I can do it. <laughs> this isn't working. Quick, this way. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll get the Firestone, and then that's when we'll, you know, wrap it up there. There we go. Got thing about we got about three more to deal with. Excellent. I knew you were the right choice, friend. Now go. I'll contact you again soon. Still can't use the chest though. Attention, citizen of Firestone! There is no cause for alarm. This new visitor has resolved the problem. Well, shoot, I thought I was a goner that time. Damn bandits won't leave us alone. Had to lock the place up tight. I'll let you in. Come on. Damn it. Blasted circuits are on the fritz again. Give it a go from the switch out there, would you? I would do this just real quick. Now that you've selected a mission, you will notice that a new icon has appeared on your heads-up display. That's a waypoint. The waypoint will tell you where you need to go. Depending on what mission is currently active in your mission log. All right. There we go. Thanks for opening her up again. The name's Zed. They don't let me cut on folks anymore since I lost my license, so... Now I keep the med vendors around here up and running. From the vendors, you can buy all the healing you could ever want from a real doc. Thankfully, without the vault is a myth, you'll get yourself killed lecture. All right. Well, oh, we just turn it in. I keep and there we go. Yeah, so now that we're done with all that, please follow me and I'll open the gate for you. So you kind of get back to the tutorial again, you know, but that's OK, especially, you know, considering that enemies are a lot stronger. Now you will find some better loot. And things will kind of work itself out. There we go. Looks like he got under nine toes skin. Don't worry. He'll get what's coming to him. You did it. I knew you were the right choice. Oh, the poor little robot needs our help. Would you kindly give him a hand? Yeah, sure. Oh my god, I'm leaking. I think I'm leaking. That little robot is hurt. He isn't going to last very long without attention. Why don't you look around for something to fix him up? 
There we go. And like I said, we'll just do just a little bit more, and that'll be it. Boy, get up. Yeah, so, you know, you can continue to play. Obviously, enemies will be stronger. You will find better loot. And you can do a whole bunch of, I guess, replayability. You know, if you're trying to look for unique weapons and stuff, it will take a while, you know. But, yeah, so, with that said, uh, we, we are going to end the video here. And we may do another video. We may. We're not sure. You know, if I decide maybe we want to do a multiplayer with some of my friends or anything, that will be kind of cool. But we don't know. We'll, we'll see. But if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. And if you I mean, or like the if you like this video, hit the like button. I'm sorry. And if, if you are new to my channel, you can definitely hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. And until then, I shall see y'all next time. Y'all take care.